Hey, it's Greg here with Rinse and Run. Uh, like I said, this video channel is dedicated to how to fix the Autec EV1. I have two of them, and I've just had to learn this over the past two years. You can wait for tech. It's probably usually the better idea, but you know, for me, time is money, and when you're down, it's also a bad reputation. So um, I try to show you how to fix a few of the things that are going to go wrong quite a bit. Um, I showed you in another video how to fix a proportional valve. That's kind of a big deal. Um, that does happen, especially when you do a new install for probably about a month and a half, and then it doesn't happen that often. But when it does, you're gonna be really glad you know how to fix it. So I'm gonna show you, uh, you know, one of the other things that kind of bugs me is, um, you know, when the brush is leaning on the car. If you don't fix that, what happens is it'll, it's a hydraulic based system, so it will remove parts. And you can see, I kind of store some here. I've got, I've got some, things that have come off cars, and that's not a good impression from a customer when uh, they, they come back and they're missing a small piece of plastic. Now, any brush machine is gonna loosen anything or take off something that's loose, uh, but in this case, it shouldn't take off quite a few. And you can tell when you watch it, not only does it squeak, uh, even with the proper poly and lubri lubricity of the brushes, but uh, it'll, it'll lean in on the car. And the way you back it off, I'm gonna show you, it's a simple thing. Uh, it'll just back off the pressure of the brushes so it doesn't lean on the truck as much. So I'm gonna show you. See how close that's rubbing on the truck? I don't like that. It squeaks a lot. There's a way to adjust that. I'm gonna show you. That's too far. I need to adjust that the other way. Okay, here's the front of the machine. The left, so the right side is where your hydraulics are and where the proportional valve is. And that's what's gonna go out on you pretty, uh, in the beginning, like I said, but on the left side of the machine is really all the stuff that you'll mess with. Uh, you know, these are the controls that control the air for your, for your, that's for your emitter. Uh, this is for your brushes. And if you actually push this yellow thing in, you'll see the brushes will close. So that controls your air. Uh, these all control how much air is in your, your chemicals. I have the wall of foam. So uh, I have the triple foam on board. Uh, that's actually your, uh, it says on here, it's your wax and that's your soap. So you don't need to mess with that much. If you ever do need to add a little more air, you can do it right through here. Uh, but what I'm gonna look at today specifically is I wanna loosen how uh, the brushes are leaning too much. And the way you do that is you just turn this screw right here. I don't know if you can see there's a notch on there. I'm just gonna turn it a quarter of a turn. And I'd already messed with it, by the way. That's why it's, it usually comes at the 12 o'clock position. I'm gonna turn that up just a little bit. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna let some of the air pressure off and it's gonna keep it from leaning in on the car too much. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, that's it while I'm here. You know, generally, uh, air pressures also are a big deal, but I'll do that in another video.